Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, we are checking out my collection of hybrid, battle damage, and other super cool and unique dinosaurs. Starting with this battle damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's open it up. Here is the completed Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here is the battle damage. When you press this button on top, that's when the battle damage comes out. Look at that, so you can switch back and forth and it shows up on both sides too. This is a super cool T-Rex. I'm super excited to add this to my collection. Right up front here, we've got a super cool and unique looking Indominus Rex. I think this one is a hybrid, don't you think? Look at the coloring on this. It's got bright red, it's got the gold feet. Look at the horns on top too. That is different from a normal Indominus Rex. Let's see what uh, cool functions this has. There's a button right here. Let's see what happens when we press that button. Wow, very cool. Those are some giant spikes. You definitely don't see that on a normal Indominus Rex. Let's open up this brand new Albertosaurus. This is a battle damaged dinosaur. All right, so here's the battle damage on its side. You can see that we've got some scrapes on its leg and the main feature is this ginormous battle damage right here on its side. Look at that. Even the bones can go up and down to reveal what's underneath. So you can put the bones back in place and then you can cover it up so it looks like a normal dinosaur. And then you just touch it and it flips open. That is super neat. All right, here we've got a hybrid Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one definitely looks different than a normal T-Rex because of those giant spikes on its back right there. Look at that. And you can actually close them and hide them. And then you press this button and bam, there go the spikes. That is super cool. And I love the coloring on this too. Look at that green and then it goes into the yellow on the bottom. This is a super cool hybrid Tyrannosaurus Rex. Next up, we've got a special delivery. Let's open this up and see what's inside. All right, can you guess what's inside? I am super excited. Oh, no way, that's so cool. This is a battle damaged T-Rex. Look at that on its side. Look at all that damage that this T-Rex has taken from its fighting. And look at that even on its face too on its neck. That is super cool. I really like these battle damaged dinosaurs. And over here, one of the biggest dinosaurs in my bin is the battle damaged Indominus Rex. Look at that. Just like the T-Rex that we saw earlier, the battle damage is on its side and you can open and close it like this. Well, the button doesn't seem to be working too well right now. There it is, there's the battle damage. And it has the button on its tail to open and close the mouth too. This Indominus Rex is the full package. Super cool. Here we've got a brand new battle damage Pteranodon. Let's open it up. So this is a pretty small dinosaur, but look at the top right there. You can flip open the top and bam, there's the battle damage and you can close it so it's all healed once again. This is super cool. All right, we've got some more battle damage T-Rexes. These are my favorite. Look at that battle damage. And these T-Rexes are fully poseable. Look at that. You can keep his mouth open like that. Here is the next battle damage T-Rex, and just like the other one we saw, it's got some scrapes on its tail, on its legs, on its side, and even on its face again. Look at that. This is one fierce T-Rex. This has been through a lot of battles, don't you think? This one is super bright, look at that. 
I think this one is a hybrid Dilophosaurus, don't you think? It's got those frills on the front. Look at that bright orange on its back too. Wow, check this one out. We've got a ginormous Triceratops. And there's the battle damage on the side. Look at that. The skin is made entirely out of rubber. And when you squeeze it, the head can go up and down too. And this is from actually the original Jurassic Park toy line. So this is actually a pretty old classic toy. Here is a ginormous Stegosaurus. And look at that. It's got the battle damage right on its side as well. Check out these spikes. Look at the size of that. You can swing that around and you do not want to be in the way of those spikes. Watch out, here comes the Stegosaurus. Here is another Dilophosaurus, but this one is also super brightly colored. Do you think this is a hybrid? And if so, what do you think it's a hybrid with? Here is one of the stars of the new Jurassic World movies. This is the Endoraptor. This one is super cool because you can bend and adjust all over its body. Look at that, it is super adjustable. Even its neck you can twist and move up and down. This is a super neat Endoraptor toy. Here's a fun fact about the Endoraptor. Did you know that typically they like to run on all fours? But if they need to, they'll stand up on their two hind legs for fighting or for running or whatever they need to do. Here is a teeny tiny little Tyrannosaurus Rex. And look at that battle damage on its side too. Here is another one of my favorite dinosaurs from the new Jurassic World movie. This is the Scorpios Rex. And this is a hybrid dinosaur. Check this one out. This is a little Mosasaurus that goes swimming in the ocean. And it's got the battle damage on the side. That is super cool. All right, we've got another battle damage Albertosaurus. And right here, here's the battle damage. Once again, you can move the bones up and down or you can hide it completely. Did you know that Albertosauruses weighed as much as a car? That is ginormous. That is so cool. Here we've got a little Spinosaurus. I think that's a Spinosaurus, but look how bright it is. It's bright blue and bright red. I definitely think that this is a hybrid. Plus, it's got battle damage on the side too. Look out, here comes a Stegosaurus. It's got the battle damage on the side. And I'm not sure, do you think this is a hybrid? It's got some unique stripes on the side. I actually can't tell if this is a hybrid or not. But it definitely looks really cool, don't you think? All right, here we've got two more Triceratops too. And look how different they are. This one's a bright green, this is a darker green, but they both have the battle damage. Look at that, it's got the scrape on its side and the bright green one has one that you can flip up and down. That is super impressive. Look at that over here. We've got a little itty bitty Velociraptor. This is blue, the Velociraptor. And we've got the battle damage on the side too. That is so cool. Oh, we've got a bunch of small dinosaurs here. Look at this. Let's check these out and they all have battle damage too. This is the Herrerasaurus. Look at that battle damage on the side too. This one is the Stygimaloc. Look at the horns on the top of its head. Those are massive. And of course, it's got the battle damage on the side too. This one is a Monolophosaurus. Check that out on the side. You can open and close it. 
and its mouth opens and closes too. <coughs> and of course, we've got a Triceratops with the battle damage. That is super impressive. Look at those horns too. Only a few dinosaurs left. This is the Pachycephalosaurus. This dinosaur has a super hard head, so it can go bumping and headbutting into other dinosaurs. And check out that battle damage as well. Our third to last dinosaur is the Baryonyx. And check out the special feature on this dinosaur. It has a sliding button on its back that'll slowly open its mouth. That's incredible! This is super cool! <laughs> Next up, we've got a super cool looking Allosaurus. This is one of my favorite dinosaurs. And just like the last one we saw, it has that special sliding button. And our last dinosaur, the Suchomimus. And the special feature for this dinosaur is this big old button on the back that moves its neck and makes it roar too. I hope you enjoyed these super cool battle damage, hybrid, and special feature dinosaurs. I'll see you in the next video. Welcome everyone back to my dinosaur channel. Recently, I just bought a bunch of new dinosaur figurines. So today we're gonna be unboxing all of them. Let's get started. First up is this Tyrannosaurus Rex escape pack. Let's go ahead and open it up. And you attach the tail to the body just by clicking it in, I think. There we go. That was actually really easy. That was easier than I expected. So let's check out this T-Rex. It's got the moving tail, obviously. It's got adjustable legs, adjustable arms. And for the head, we've got this button on the top. That'll open its mouth. Look at that, it's got the tongue, all those teeth right there. This is a pretty cool T-Rex. Next, let's check out the car that came in the pack. So let's go ahead and get this car out. These little twisty things on the bottom. I just love this coloring. Look at the yellow and it fades into the green and the red. That is the classic Jurassic Park look. All the doors open, front and back, so you can fit some of your favorite action figures in here. This is super neat. This might be one of my favorite dinosaur cars that I have in my collection. Let's check out the human that came in this set. So we can see it's a little child there. And then it also comes with the night vision goggles. All right, let's go ahead and get those night vision goggles on the kid. All right, check it out. Let's go ahead and get him seated in the car right here in the front seat. And along comes the T-Rex. So just like in the movie, you can press down on the glass on the top here and try to break in and eat the person that's inside. This is really cool. And I really like that they released a classic looking car like this too. Next up, we've got this huge Apatosaurus figurine. Look how big this figurine is once you put it together. And this is from the new Jurassic World Legacy Collection. And as you can see, we've already opened up the box and taken it out. So let me show you the fully built figure. Bam, here we go. Look at the size of this thing. This is huge. Its mouth opens and closes. Look at that detail. Even its teeth are painted properly. That looks really good. The head swivels and moves. And you can see right here that the neck moves side to side. The legs are fully functional as well. And finally, the tail too. 
all in all, this dinosaur is huge. It's probably from tail to the head, it might be three or four feet long. Well, I guess the box said 41 inches. So there you have it right there. That's how big it is. But this one is huge. I really like this one. Oh, here's one of my favorite ocean predators right here. This is the Mosasaurus. Let's go ahead and open this up and check it out fully put together. All right, so we've got the main body right here. The mouth already attached. Here's the tail. Let's go ahead and attach the tail and it just clicks right in. And then in the box also comes the four fins. Let's click this first one in and the second one. Third right here and the fourth one. Here is the great Mosasaurus. This one is super long too. Maybe three feet long, two or three feet long. <coughs> it's got all the individual teeth on the front. It probably fit some dinosaurs in its mouth too. And the movable fins and the tail as well. And we do have some other Mosasaurus figurines in my collection, but I do notice that this one that I just bought it's like a darker colored blue or like a purple than the other Mosasauruses that I have. So I am super excited to add this one to my dinosaur collection. Let's move on. The next one we're looking at is the Pentaceratops from the Jurassic World Dino Escape series. And this is part of the Mega Destroyers. So we'll take the dinosaur out and over here is the cage for to trap the dinosaur's head. Now we're going to take the face cage thing and we're going to put it on the Pentasaurus. All right, got it on now. So you can see that the Pentasaurus is trapped inside the cage. It can't really attack anyone or really move around that easily. But like we saw in the box, this has a breakout function. So see these two buttons on the back right here? The front one is gonna make it shake and break free. Let's check it out, ready? Three two, one, go! Wow, that was awesome. It broke free so easily. And the second button here, let's see what that does. Oh, so it twists from side to side when you press that button. And look at the size of the bony frill on this Pentasaurus. That is much larger than you'd see on a Triceratops. And of course, it's got the horns up front here and on top as well. This is a ferocious looking dinosaur. We wouldn't want to mess with this one in the wild. Next up, we've got this multi-pack right here. Let me take off the plastic. This is the Ultimate Baryonyx Breakout Battle Damage Edition. Let's open it up and check it out. First, let's check out the Baryonyx. So we've got the body right here and the tail's right up here. Let's grab that as well. Okay, let's put the tail on the dinosaur. Clicks right in. Let's see, so this figure has one action button on it, a button right here, and it looks like that one opens and shuts the mouth. And there are no batteries required for this one, so it has no sound effects or anything like that. You can see that it's got that battle damage right there on its neck and even a little bit on its leg as well. And in the rest of the pack, you can see we've got Owen and his motorcycle right there. And look at all these accessories. He's got a helmet, he's got body armor. Is that a, I think that's a radio pack of some sort maybe. And he's got some weapons right there. And let's, let's take a look at the figure itself. So it's a fully adjustable body. You can see that its legs can bend, its arms can bend even at the elbows as well. Its face can swivel and on the motorcycle, the wheels spin and it's even got a kickstand that you can put up and down. Look how tiny it is. This is a pretty cool pack. It comes with quite a few different pieces. So you have your own little uh, dinosaur setup right here. So yeah, this one is pretty cool. I would recommend checking out this pack. 
All right, let's keep unboxing these new dinosaurs. Next up, we've got the Carcharodontosaurus, also from the Jurassic World Dino Escape toy line. This is also a Mega Destroyer. All right, so before we put on the cage, let's check it out. Look at the coloring on this. So it's mostly blue, and then it's got the orange on the top, but it's like speckled with that brown. And then it's got that one line of spikes along its back. Let's check out the action button right here. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna be able to break free from the cage we've got. Let's go ahead and put this on the dinosaur. Wow, that was pretty easy. All right, here we go. It's gonna break free from the cage. You ready? Three, two, one, go! Break free, come on, you can do it. All right, and there you go. This is a very neat dinosaur. Let's move on to our next one. All right, look at how many we still have in here. There's, there's still tons more to go. Let's check out this Kentrosaurus next. Let's go ahead and put on those spikes on its sides. All right, so we've got the spikes out of the packaging. Look at the size of these spikes. So these spikes are gonna go right into the side right here. And it clicks right in there. Wow, look at that. And on the other side. And finally, the tail. And it clicks right into the back. And there we go. Check out the spikes all over its body. Look at these shoulder spikes, like I was saying. Those are probably used for defense, as well as the spikes on its tail. The ginormous spikes, look at that. And we've got an action button up top here. Let's try it out and see what happens. That's pretty cool. So when you press the button, the front swivels side to side, and I bet those spikes will probably hit whoever is standing in the way when it does that. This is pretty neat. I'm liking this one. Let's check out our next dinosaur. Next up, we've got this Tyrannosaurus pack. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Sure enough, I'm pretty sure that's a baby Tyrannosaurus. But uh, if you guys know whether it's an adult or a baby, let me know in the comments below. First, let's check out these little dinosaurs. They all look pretty identical. All of them got this green color. Plus, their mouths do open and close as well. Look at that, even how small they are. And here's the T-Rex. And this one is very adjustable. Look at that. Can adjust the ankle, at the knee, the swivel all around. The jaw will open and shut too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one is a baby dinosaur. It looks so small and cute, look at that. And it came with what looks like, I don't know if those are bandages or something, but I think we put this on the T-Rex. And this one too. So it looks like this bandage goes onto the leg of the T-Rex right here. It straps on, we just did surgery on it. So you gotta protect that wound. And then this is a muzzle. It goes right on the jaw right there. So now it can't bite anyone. Very cool, all right. Let's move on to our next dinosaur. All right, which one should we choose next? Oh, you know what? I was super excited about this one. This isn't a dinosaur, but it's a replica of a Spinosaurus tooth. Look at the size of that. Let's open it up. Wow, look at the size of that tooth. That's like three or four inches long or even longer. And this replica here is very detailed. It's got cracks all over and the painting is like black on the top. This is very cool. This will look great on one of my shelves. All right, let's keep going. Here's another one. This is the Ceratosaurus. There we go. All right, so we've got the body right here and then the tail. It's tucked away inside the box. Let's get that out too. And let's attach the tail to the body. Clicks right in. There we go. All right, here is the Ceratosaurus. 
We've got this action button on top. Let's try that out. Very interesting. So it's actually a few different buttons in one. So the more you slide it up, the more it opens its mouth. Very cool. And check out the horn right on the nose. This dinosaur is awesome. All right, let's check out our next dinosaur. All right, here we go with our next dinosaur. Let's get it out of the bag. All right, check this out. This looks like a Mosasaurus and it could be, I'm not entirely sure, but I will say, look at the spikes on the back. Those are some really sharp spikes. I mean, they won't hurt me if I poke, but in real life, those would hurt a lot, I think. Very cool. Let's go with this one right here. Wow, check this one out. This is a Spinosaurus. Check it out. There's that huge spine on its back. Its mouth opens and closes. This one is a little bit smaller than our other Spinosaurus figures, but I will say this one has a bit more detail with the painting. And look at those teeth right there. <laughs> those are some mean teeth. Did you know that Spinosauruses actually did a lot of hunting in the water? I didn't know that before, but I recently found that out. This is very cool. Let's check out our other dinosaurs. I see another cool looking one right here. All right. This is an Endoraptor, but it looks a bit different than the other ones that I have because look at this orange coloring on the side. That is unique to this Endoraptor. I haven't seen that before. And uh, this one is more like a model because the arms and legs don't move. So it's in this like crawling pose right here. But that is pretty neat. I like this one. All right, and in this bag, oh, look at that. This is an Indominus Rex. And this one is also more like a model figure. The arms and legs don't move, but this one has great detail as well. Look at that on its side. Look at the spikes on its back and on its teeth, its tongue. Huge attention to detail, which is really cool. And next up, looks like we've got a three pack of, it says pterodactyls. Let's take a look. So we've got our first one here. And our second pterodactyl. This has different coloring and is a bit bigger. Look at the back too. And the third one. Although, this is a very different looking pterodactyl. Do you know if this is a pterodactyl? Why don't you let me know in the comments below. Is this a pterodactyl or is this a different type of flying dinosaur? <laughs> That was super exciting unboxing all these dinosaurs. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe.
Welcome everyone back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are excavating dinosaurs from the snow. Check out this snow we've got right here. We've got dinosaurs buried deep beneath. You can already see some poking out right here. So let's go ahead and get started and start uh, digging up these dinosaurs. So we'll start off with this big old one right here. This one is ginormous. And check out the coloring on this too. Wow. This one I think is a Indominus Rex, but it's got custom paint on it. Check that out. So it's got the blue bottom. It's got the purple top with the black on the very top. You can see some of the orange linings right there as well. Wow, check that out. That's pretty neat. But yeah, this is an Indominus Rex, but it looks different from most. It's a very unique one. Awesome. Let's find our next dinosaur. All right, next up, I can see one poking out just right here. Let's just go ahead and pull this one out. Try to brush some of that snow off. So this one is a Scorpios Rex. Check it out. These massive claws in the front, and it's got a button for the slicing action with its claws, a button for opening and closing its mouth, and look at those rows of teeth. It's got like those little rows of teeth right there in the front, and then it's got these massive ones on the outside. That is gnarly. Look at the claws on its feet as well, and then last of all, this tail as well. You do not want to get hit by that tail. Very cool. Let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, let's dig around here. Where is the next dinosaur? Oh, I see one right there. Let's go ahead and pull him out. All right. And this one is an Allosaurus. And it's got a row of spikes right along the top of its body right there. And it's got pretty small teeth in its mouth, but that's a lot of teeth too. They got two buttons back here. There's one for the mouth, got the chomping action. And then the second button back here wiggles the arms. And the Allosaurus has a top speed of 19 to 34 miles per hour. I think that's quite a bit faster than a human, so you wouldn't stand a chance against this dinosaur. All right, on to our next dinosaur. I think I feel one down here. Yep, there's one. Ooh, it must be cold in there. All right, this is the Carnotaurus. It looks kind of like a T-Rex, standing on its two back legs. It's got the short arms in the front, but I think one of the most distinctive differences between the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Carnotaurus is the horns right here. I think that's a pretty big feature for the Carnotaurus. This has got an action button on the tail for its mouth. And that is pretty cool. Look at those teeth. 
Those are a lot larger than the Allosaurus too. All right, let's find our next dinosaur. Oh, I see a Bigfoot right here. Ooh, this one is massive. Wow, look at this. This looks like a... Oh wow, it's loud too. This one looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex to me. And look at the coloring on this. So it's mostly brown, but it's got those gray coloring on its back as well. And then this one, I think has a few different actions. So we've got the button on the back, open its jaw. And look at the size of that jaw too. This one has even larger teeth. Look at that, that big row right there. And a huge mouth, huge jaw. And then if you twist the tail, its legs stomp up and down with the sound effect too. That is awesome. And check it out. These arms are really small, but they can still each lift up to 400 pounds each. That's way more than I can lift. So, I mean, I mean, in comparison to its whole body, it looks tiny, but these can still lift 400 pounds each. That is awesome. All right, let's keep digging. Let's see what we find here. Oh, I see a, I think that's a wing right there. Yep, it sure is. Look at this one. So this is a winged dinosaur. Wow, almost dropped it. So this is a Pteranodon. And it's mostly gray. It's got a little bit of like, I don't know if that's like maroon or purple or what color that is really. It's got a massive mouth. And it is in real life about eight feet long, just about as long as a dolphin is. So still, that is a pretty large dinosaur. It's a small toy, but in real life, that's uh, the wingspan is wider than most humans are. And we've got a little action button on its back here. You press it and the wings flip up and down. That is pretty cool. All right, on to the next dinosaur. Oh, I see something down here. It's pretty deep. Let's see if we can pull it out. All right, this one's pretty big too. Gotta get that snow off. And this is, I believe how you pronounce it, a Siet Micarorum. So it's got the brown underbelly and it's got a blue top. Look at those rows of spikes on its back. I think that's three or four rows on its back. And it's got the short arms in the front and it stands on its hind legs. We've got an action button as well. Press on the tail and its mouth opens and closes. Pretty cool. So in real life, these are smaller than a T-Rex, but they can still run faster than a T-Rex. And T-Rexes can run pretty fast, much faster than humans. So I don't think we'd still stand a chance against this dinosaur either. Cool, let's move on. All right, let's dig. Oh, I see one right here. There's its foot. Let's try to pull it out. Ooh, this is one of my favorite dinosaurs right here. This is the Endoraptor from the Jurassic World movies. These ones are gnarly. Check out its mouth. It's got those huge rows of teeth. Check out these claws. It's got these massive claws on its hands and on its feet and this huge tail as well. These Endoraptors weigh 2,000 pounds, which is about the weight of like one and a half cows. So this thing is still pretty big. Very cool. All right, let's continue our search for more dinosaurs. I see a foot over here. Let's pull this one out from the snow. There we go. Oh, this is a green dinosaur. Check it out, it's got the one ridge of spikes along its back. It's got a massive mouth. It's mostly green and it's got that orange coloring along its sides. And this is the Albertosaurus. We've got an action button in the back right here. So you press it, and just like the others, you can open and close its mouth. And in real life, these dinosaurs have 60 or more banana shaped teeth in its mouth. So like a banana is like in real life, like that big. 
So can you imagine each tooth being about that large? That's huge. Oh, I see a hand right here. Ooh, that's a big hand. Who could this be? There you go. It is King Kong himself. And this toy is huge. This is about like maybe a foot high. Its arms are movable. Its head is movable. His jaw can open and close like that. Plus, you've got this spinning action. And he growls too, wow. You've got this spinning action so he can beat his chest just like in the movies like this. That's pretty awesome. And his eyes glow as well. That's pretty cool. All right, then what else is under here? Oh, there's another one. Let's pull this out. Oh, this one is a long dinosaur. It's very long, it's got short legs. It looks kind of like an alligator, you know? It's got that super long mouth with those huge teeth. So we've got the two rows of spikes along its back. Got those tiny little eyes and this massive tail as well. And this toy also has two action features. It's got the button to open and close its mouth. And if you twist the tail, it twists the head too. And this is not an alligator. This is a sarcosagus. So these, like alligators, lived near the water and they could catch other dinosaurs by surprise at the water's edge. Just sneaking under the water, you don't notice it. And then bam, it jumps up out of the water, grabs the dinosaur and has a delicious snack. All right, are any more under here? Oh, feel one right there. Ooh, check this one out. This one looks a little bit smaller, but still looks pretty vicious, I'd say. Look at those teeth in its mouth. Those are some large teeth. This is an Allosaurus. We've got a button on its back. Oh, it's got sounds too. The button opens and closes its mouth. So this is actually a pretty small dinosaur in real life. It's only about six and a half feet high. So this would stand uh, a little bit taller than most humans. All right, let's continue our search. I see a big one right here. Pull this one out. Wow, this one is huge. All right, this is a Spinosaurus. And look at those teeth. Huge teeth. And the distinctive feature, got the spine right there. These were actually semi-aquatic and they hunted for fish just like bears do nowadays. And on this toy, we've got a button right here that opens and closes the mouth. But boy, are these massive. All right, next up, Found a little one right here. This is a Triceratops. Whoa, almost dropped it. And we've got the three horns on its face right there. Look at these massive, huge horns used undoubtedly for defense against uh, its predators. We've got the battle damage action on its side right here. And did you know that Triceratops have up to 800 teeth that get replaced continuously. And they can slice through any plant. That's pretty amazing. That is a huge amount of teeth too. All right, what else we got in here? Oh, see one down here. Oh, look at this one. This one is huge. This is a Pteranodon. So you can see that its wings are red its body is blue and it's got this massive beak. And the pteranodons actually walk on all four legs on land. So you can see its little back legs here and then its front legs. So when it comes to land, it puts down on all fours and walks around like that. That's pretty interesting. All right, what else we got? Oh, found another little one right here. 
Look at this little one. So you can see that there's one ridge of spines down its back right there. It's got the little arms in the front, stands on its hind legs like that. And we've got the battle damage on this one too. And this is a Monolophosaurus. And look, it's even got this interesting like ridge on its head too. Kind of looks like a nose, but and it's got the spikes on its head. And this was a carnivore and eats smaller dinosaurs. It's pretty neat. Let's keep digging. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, I see one right here. There's its tail. Go ahead and pull it out all the way. Wow, look at this. Look at the coloring on this one. It's got the yellow and then the red on top with the black stripes. This one's really cool and it's got the one horn on its face right there. This is a Ceratosaurus. So this was also a predator, as you can probably tell from its teeth. And this dinosaur actually ate both living and dead dinosaurs. So this one didn't really care about whether it was living or dead. It looked like food to this one. All right, I think I feel another one. Here we go. These dinosaurs were called Pachycephalosauruses. And you can see on its head, let me get some of that snow off. It's got like a helmet. And this toy also has an action flip the tail and its head does that slamming action. So I bet this one used its head to slam into other dinosaurs or use it for self-defense or whatever. Oh, I see a tail of something. Let's pull this one out. All right, another one of my favorites, the Endoraptor from the Jurassic World movie. These dinosaurs are super intelligent and I would not want to meet this one in real life out of all the dinosaurs really, because they're so smart, they're so cunning, they're so vicious. These dinosaurs are awesome. Oh, here's one. Got it by its leg. All right, here we go. This is the Baryonyx. This dinosaur went after small prey, even other baby dinosaurs and fish, and it can hunt silently. And we've got an action button right on its back that snaps open and shut its mouth. How cool. All right, look at this one. We've got another King Kong. Oh my goodness, there's so much snow in his face. You can't even see his eyes. But he's got his battle axe in this one. And you can fully move his arms and legs. And this King Kong figure has the battle damage on its shoulder. Let me see if I can open it up. There we go. So you can take that on and off to show whether he's wounded or not. This is pretty cool. It's a lot smaller than our other King Kong one that we excavated today. But I like that this one's so movable and you can do so much with it. And it comes with a battle axe too. All right, I found another one. Oh, here we go. Is this our first Velociraptor of the day? I think it is. Got the blue stripe along the side. Got the massive claws in the front and the claws on its feet as well. I remember seeing these Velociraptors in the movie a lot. These were some of the coolest dinosaurs, some of my favorite in the movie. All right, here's another one. Is this another Velociraptor? I think it is. This one is a yellow and brown color. And we've got the battle damage on the side. You can barely see it with all the snow. But check it out. You can open and close it and you can open and close its mouth as well. Wow, there's so much snow. That is cool. Its head is adjustable. I'll add this one to my Velociraptor collection. All right, here's another one. Pull this one out. It's a little slippery. 
Oh, this is a little dinosaur. Get that snow off. This is the Maceiacosaurus. And did you know that these were actually around the size of like a Labrador dog? So these were pretty small dinosaurs. Look at those teeth. This dinosaur hunted small prey. And look at this little button on the back. Moves his neck up and down for that striking action. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see if we can find any more in here. Oh, there's one. I can feel it. Oh, another small dinosaur. Oops, look at this one. It's kind of cute, really. This is actually a baby T-Rex, and it does actually look just like a miniature T-Rex. Did you know that baby T-Rexes have more teeth than adult T-Rexes, and they actually ran faster than adult T-Rexes, which is pretty amazing, considering how much smaller they were. And on this toy, if you wiggle the tail up and down, you can open and shut its mouth. Thanks for joining me on this dino excavation. I really enjoyed digging up these dinosaurs from the snow with you. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Hello and welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaur Channel. I'm super excited for you to be here today. Today we are unboxing a bunch of T-Rexes, Indominus Rexes, Velociraptors, Endoraptors, and a whole lot more. So I'm super excited to jump into this. We even got some uh, brand new T-Rexes that I just bought that we're gonna check out as well. So I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and dive in.
Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.